Shalom and welcome to day 38 of the Counting of the Omer. Today we will focus on Tiferet Shebe Yasod. Once again, that is Tiferet, T I F E R E T, sometimes also spelled T I P H E R E T, Shebe Yasod. Tiferet Shebe Yasod combines the qualities of both Tiferet and Yasod. Tiferet represents harmony beauty, balance, compassion, unity, peace, gentleness, and tenderness. While we know that Yasod represents righteousness and creating a bond and a connection with Father Yahweh. Today, during day 38 of the Counting of the Omer, we explore how to integrate these attributes into our lives, particularly focusing on unity and righteousness. This day is about finding harmony and balance in our lives. It's about being gentle with ourselves as we grow in righteousness and Torah lessons and oneness with our Creator. Let's examine how Yahshua, the Sadiq, which is the righteous one, has shown compassion towards us. His life exemplifies how to unite and align with Father Yahweh while living out the foundational truths in the Torah. Today, let's consider how we can walk in unity and oneness with Father Yahweh. Let's reflect on all the beauty that surround us. And lastly, Tiferet Shebe Yasod reminds us that everything happens for a reason. There is purpose and order in our lives, even when we can't immediately see it. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and let's proceed to the Omer Count. Baruch Ata Yahweh, Yahuhenu Malek HaOlam, Asher Kiddishanu, Bimitvatav, Vitzivanu, Al Safirat HaOmer. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Almighty One, King and Ruler of the Universe, who has set us apart with his mitzvot and instructed us concerning the counting of the Omer. Today is 38 days, which is five weeks and three days of the Omer. May the Merciful One restore unto us the service of the Bet Hamikdash to its place speedily in our days. Amen. For the choir master, a song with instrumental music, a psalm. May Yahweh be favorable to us and bless us. May he make his countenance shine upon us forever. That your way be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. The nations will extol you, O Yahweh. All the nations will extol you. The nations will rejoice and sing for joy. For you will judge the peoples justly and guide the nations on earth forever. The peoples will extol you, O Yahweh. All the peoples will extol you. For the earth will have yielded its produce. And Yahweh, our mighty one, will bless us. Yahweh will bless us, and all from the farthest corners of the earth shall fear him. We implore you, by the great power of your right hand, Yeshua HaMashiach, release the captive. Accept the prayer of your people. Strengthen us, purify us, Yasam One. Mighty One, we beseech you, guard as the apple of the eye those who seek your oneness. Bless them. Cleanse them, bestow upon them forever your merciful righteousness. Powerful, Kadosh, set apart one, and your abounding goodness guide your congregation. Only and exalted one, turn to your people who are mindful of your Kadoshness. Accept our supplication and hear our cry. You who know secret thoughts, blessed be the name of the esteem of his kingdom forever and ever. Master of the universe, you have commanded us through Moshe, your servant, to count Sefirat HaOmer in order to purify us from our evil and uncleanness. As you have written in your Torah, you shall count for yourselves from the day following, the day of rest, from the day on which you bring the Omer as a wave offering. The counting shall be for seven full weeks 
until the day following the seventh week shall you count 50 days so that the souls of your people, Israel, may be cleansed from their defilement. Therefore, may it be your will, Yahweh our Mighty One, and the Mighty One of our scriptural forefathers, that in the merit of the Sephirat HaOmer, which we and I have counted today, the blemish that we and I have caused in the Sephirah, Tiferet, Shebe Asod, be rectified, and we and I may be purified and set apart with your kadoshness. May abundant bounty thereby be bestowed upon all the worlds. May it rectify our nefesh, our ruach, and our neshama from every baseness and defect, and may it purify and set us apart with your kadoshness. Amen.